Hey guys, it's me, Snow and Troop and Sodot here, and today we're going to be reviewing my newly uh, arrived uh, Military Harbor M40 uh, German Fed Blusa. And then on the left here, I have myself my four year old Gavin Military Fed Blusa, which is also an M40 model. As you can tell, um, the color difference is quite significant. Uh, the Gavin one is much darker. It is uh, turned into like a greenish brownish with a bit of gray. Uh, so it's definitely seen some action, whereas this has the uh, brand new looking uh, felt brow. So hopefully, with a bit of time with both artificial and natural weathering, this will look just as nice. And at the same time, this one is tailored. This one is off the rack. So. At first glance, they don't look too terribly different, but I assure you the price difference that you would have to pay for a Military Harbor one is definitely worth it. So, I'll firstly say that Gavin Military tunics are perfectly fine. They're a great starter, and they can last you throughout your entire career as a reenactor. However, if you're like me and you want to have a bit of an upgrade, then uh, Military Harbor is a great option if you don't want to completely break the bank. So, start off with this Gavin one. So again, as again, it looks quite salty. Even the, uh, the you know, the belt hook holes have widened over time. So, the only problem I've had with this tunic is that when you initially get it, and even to this day, the, uh, the wool is a bit thin, however, it's serviceable. In fact, it's actually better for it to be thinner since I live here in the south, so it gets pretty hot. But the wool is is decent wool, however, it's a bit itchy. And that's even, you know, after four years. So it's not the most comfortable tunic, but it is serviceable. And, you know, it's comfortable enough. Uh, however, the pockets are a bit small, so as you can tell, it does fit a sole book in here. However, it does squish it, so I ended up just putting it inside my wallet, which it does fit inside these pockets, so perfectly good tunic. And uh, you know the the pockets are you know overall well scalloped, so overall great tunic, but with a few um with with a few. Uh, issues here and there. However, you get what you paid for, and this is a great tunic that costs around between eighty and hundred dollars. Moving on to the uh, Military Harbor uh, tunic. Now the uh, wool is thicker, so you have a uh, better quality wool. The wool is also softer. It, it's not as irritating whenever I put it on, and that's as it is brand new. So I can only imagine. Uh, you know, as I break it in, how I loosen it up, get rid of the nap, how the wool is going to feel much better. So, time will only tell. As for pockets, the pockets are slightly uh, larger, so you be able to fit a uh, sole book in there just a little bit better. The bottom pockets are slightly bigger. The uh, pockets are also better scalloped. Um... Uh, overall and also the button is also here in the correct spot just like the Gavin one you know parallel with each pocket uh, cheaper tunics tend to have it like down here which is not correct but uh, overall better quality wool it's thicker wool and it's softer the cotton uh, color difference as compared to the Gavin one <laughs> And this one, if, if I haven't mentioned before, is tailored. So, yeah. Uh, the, the buttons are overall, I think, the same. They might be a little bit better quality. And the buttons right here are also are bigger when compared to the Gavin one, which, in my opinion, is better. So, overall, that is my review of the Military Harbor one, which, off the rack, will cost you about... $193, but with free shipping, and about $200 uh, custom tailored. So I say it's worth the money uh, if you want a uh, pretty decently uh, sized 
uh, upgrade from your, uh, you know, beginner tunic. Gavin, uh, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's, it's serviceable. It's, a, it's, a, it's overall good quality for what you paid for. So, but I, uh, but I strongly recommend Military Harbor. I feel like so far, from what I've seen, their quality is very, very nice. So, yeah, guys. Uh, that is uh, overall my review of both the Gavin and the Military Harbor tunic. Uh, soon I will do a little bit of artificial weathering to this tunic. Uh, add insignia and um, uh, Litson. And yeah, hopefully it will look just as good as this one. Just uh, better tailored. So, thank you guys so much for, this, uh, for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this informative. Uh, if you feel, you know, inclined to... Consider subscribing, giving it a like, and uh, I'll see y'all guys in the next video. I'll be to Zand.